Did you know that the global economy loses about $1 trillion every year in productivity due to depression and anxiety? Did you also know that poor mental health is considered one of the most taxing non-communicable diseases in developing economies? At the same time, low-income populations in these countries have little or no access to mental health care. More than 75% of people suffering from mental disorders in the developing world receive no treatment or care. The situation is especially alarming as poor mental health, among other damaging economic consequences, can lead to lower productivity, lower levels of human capital development, as well as poor economic decision-making, resulting in a cycle of poverty. As far as children are concerned, poor mental health can translate into lower educational attainment and performance. This can have long-term impacts on human capital development and productivity. So this got me thinking, wouldn't it be great if you could find a low-cost solution that can improve mental health and performance in school-age children? That's exactly where my research comes in. We partnered with an NGO in Pakistan that runs 700 schools across the country and started conducting classroom-based activities that focus on positive experiences and traits. They build their hopes, their aspirations, and they try to reduce stress levels. These activities have been effective in improving mental health in various subclinical populations across the world. So we thought, why not try them in this setting? With the assistance of the, of the NGO and a team of trained enumerators, we conducted these activities with 1,000 students across 30 schools for four weeks in each school. We then analyzed their English, mathematics, and Urdu test scores with the aim to assess how successful these low-cost, easily scalable classroom-based activities are at improving well-being and consequently academic performance in school children from low-income populations. We found the results to be very promising. Performance in all subjects, and especially in mathematics, increased substantially for children who participated in the activities compared to those who did not. These results were especially pronounced for females and 10 to 11-year-olds. The results lend support to the idea that reducing stress and invoking positivity increases this mental bandwidth, so to speak, that's available to children, allowing them to better absorb new material, thereby improving their performance in subjects that require a greater presence of mind. Isn't that fantastic? Simply by introducing in the school curricula activities that invoke positivity in students, we can improve their academic performance.